Brick Gangle. 33, 33 days lost in the rubble of the Hotel Montana. Her body was discovered today, Valentine's Day. 11 years ago, on January 12, 2010, Brittany Gangle was tragically killed in the 7.0 magnitude earthquake that struck Haiti. 33 very long days later, on February 14th, her body was recovered and returned home to her family. Be Like Brit's development director, Rick Murr, who's a longtime runner and Boston Marathon coach of the Marathon Coalition, had intended to run 33 miles in honor of those 33 days that Britt was missing in the rubble. However, due to an injury right before his race, Rick was unable to complete it. So, the kids that he coaches decided to step up, run in his place, and run in honor of Brittany. Running in honor of those 33 days she was missing, and run in honor of the children in Haiti that now benefit from the Be Like Brit Foundation. Supporters gathered from all over the state in very cold temperatures to support Rick and these amazing kids that wanted to step up and make a huge difference. Give more of myself and to be a better person. So the fact that you came out here today to support Be Like Brit and to run in my place not only touches my heart, but it moves my heart. And with that, they were off. Many kids just about Brittany's age, 19 years old, all local to Massachusetts, wanting to make Brittany's legacy a little bit louder on a very, very important day for the Be Like Brit Foundation. And then Abby and then Jill. Oh. Not only did these young adults complete it, they doubled it, running 66 miles in just under an hour all together for the 66 children at Brit's home in Haiti. My name is Megan, and I decided to do this because obviously my, my um, coach, Trick Murr, was going to do it, and he was unable to due to injury. He's honestly, he's helped me for the last three, four years, and I cannot thank him enough, so this was honestly the least I could do. <laughs> Brit's story and just everything that everyone's doing to help other people is, honestly, I was, I just wanted to do my part. This seemed like something just so little that I could help to do. I'm just so inspired by their commitment to Brit and the BLB mission and just coming out as a united community. I think that, uh, you know, for these young women, <coughs> it shows them that the world is a much bigger place and that there are people out there that don't have what they have. And I think that they are more grateful for the abundance that they have in their lives. And I think their perception and perspective on the world expanded today. In a true fashion of heartache to hope, 33 miles doubled and turned into 66 miles for those 66 kids in Haiti. And guess who was also walking the track on Sunday, February 14th? That's a lot of love. For more information, please visit BeLikeBrit.org or watch our 10-year documentary at BeLikeBrit.org slash tenure.